Well, as Lee Kuan Yew said, he is interested in being correct and not in being politically correct. Uh, he did quite a lot of things which are not politically correct. Uh, usually he was right. Not always, because every person has his perspectives and biases, but he had the conviction to do what he believed in and to argue for it, and it worked for Singapore. I think we need to do that also. I don't think what we are doing now is extremely politically incorrect. I mean, it may not be the way things are done in the, um, Western countries. I think on the question of freedom of speech, our perspective will be different, not just with the French, but with many Western countries. But uh, you are here. You are not afraid to ask me any question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not afraid to give you an honest answer, so I think we're not doing badly. And I, we have to find solutions which work for Singapore. Our society is different. Sometimes, uh, if you go on, the, on first principles and say everybody must be like this, therefore Singapore must be like this, well, if, if we take that approach, Singapore may not work. It may fail. So we've got to see what works for Singapore, and we progress on that basis. If we didn't have uh, our ethnic quota policy for housing, for example, uh, what will happen? In the short term, probably not much, because you're already living mixed up uh, in mixed neighborhoods, integrated. But gradually, people will move. Not because they're uncomfortable, but it's just personal preferences. You like to be with your, with your relatives, you like to be with your cousins, uh, you, people cluster together. Um, we will end up, after some time, with ethnic groups in enclaves. And, and then we have a different psychology. The French have a big problem with their Muslim community. Why? Because they are in enclaves. They are not integrated with the, Muslim, with the rest of the French society. They have banlieues, which are the, the suburbs of Paris, and the banlieues are overwhelmingly, uh, you call them Muslim, but actually it's also an ethnic distinction. These are people who have come from North Africa, many of them. And it becomes a ghetto. And you end up with a completely different sense of uh, despair, of uh, uh, alienation. And you can't solve the problem. So just now, Tomiko asked me, what can we do to prevent things from going wrong in Singapore? One of the big things we have done to prevent things from going wrong is to make sure that we live in an integrated society. All our housing estates are like that. Our schools are like that. If your housing estates are not like that, your schools will not be like that. The Americans tried to fix this problem. They had segregated housing because the poor areas were black and therefore the schools were black. And so they went for busing, which means that you take the black kid, you put him in a school bus and you take him across town to put him into a white neighborhood. You take the white kid, put him in a school bus and bring him across town and force him to go into a black school. Enormous unhappiness, and in the end, still a lot of trouble with race relations. You just read the newspapers every time a white policeman shoots dead a black boy. The outrage, the uh, anger, and yet, what is the solution? The solution takes generations. So I think that we, we are not in a bad spot now. We improve from here. I think let's see what will make our situation better. Don't worry about being politically correct. There's time enough for that later on.